Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a little tour of my right wing build here. Um, this camera doesn't zoom out real far, so I'll start on one end of the wing. Um, here's one wing. You can see embedded here in the foam is a outer from an eye rod, and uh, I'm going to run some RG174 coax from I'll back up here. You can see the middle of the wing here, this bay. That will be my VTX. And then on the little winglet on the side, I'll show you one of those. I'm going to put a uh, uh, use foil tape and make a dipole on this thing so there'll be no whip sticking up. It'll just be flat right on the side of that thing. So I think that'll work pretty good. Um, you can see my servos are embedded. In fact, I drew some back here. You can see the drawing. I didn't put the servo back there. I actually embedded it way in the front uh, to help with the CG. I laid all the parts on it and figured out that I'm going to need that stuff up front quite a ways. I'm about ready to put the right weave covering on the whole thing at this point. It's basically ready to go. All the servos are embedded and uh, you can see the NIROD's coming out and the motor mount back here. Um, you can see under here this hatch will have the uh, from Zibi OSD. Um, back in here is the ESC uh, bay. Uh, lots of tons of room in this thing. This is awesome. Um, battery bay. Lots of room for battery up here. I can fit a 3S5800 no problem. You can see i got a piece of plywood on the nose here. I'm going to uh, mount the camera on that. And bay on this side, i got my receiver. And, uh, you know, I, I'm i not necessarily sold that 2.4 won't work, but everybody keeps saying use 72, so I'm going to start off with a 72 meg receiver. Um, and rather than uh, follow Click's advice of cutting a slot and putting an antenna wire in it, I actually took a NIROD inner and embedded that in the wing. You can see that goes out, so I can just run the, the uh, antenna lead right through that, and I can pull it back out if I want to. Um, I've got the GPS receiver and a little bay on the side here, and uh, all of these things, again, I use some outer NIROD uh, for a kind of a conduit that runs uh, into these bays. So any of the stuff, uh, whether it's the VTX or whatever, all of those things can be moved pretty easily, and I can uh, take them out or put new stuff in and whatnot once the wing is all done and covered. Uh, so I've got access to everything. And that's uh, turning out pretty good. I think uh, this weekend I'll uh, get the right weave on it, and uh, I should be finishing it up before too long. But it is kind of a long build. Um, uh, but it, it's been fun. It's been an interesting project. A lot of these spots where uh, you can see up in here, uh, this NIROD coming through for the controls is below these two NIROD's going this way. So it's kind of busy in there. But, hey, it all fit. It's all working really well. Um, anxious to get this thing in the air. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with my right wing. Uh, here's a shot a ways back, and I'm getting antsy to get this thing going and, and, and start playing with FPV. Oh, i got to show you something else on my workbench. My shop's a mess here. Uh, you can see this little camera guy that I made. Uh, it's a little uh, 1.2 gig uh, camera slash transmitter all built into one little thing, and I used a... Uh, um, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, Dimension Engineering makes. It's a little uh, switching regulator that'll either step up or step down. So I just put a, a Dean's uh, connector through on this thing, and I can power it either off a 2S or 3S pack, and it regulates the voltage for the camera and whatnot. This works awesome on my slow stick. I can just stick it right onto the wing, and I've been playing around with that thing and flying around. It doesn't have all that great a range, but it's, it's good enough for some close-in FPV stuff, and it's kind of fun. The field of view is pretty narrow on this little camera, though. It, it makes it a little bit hairy to fly, but that's been uh, my introduction to uh, FPV. So I'm really anxious to get the uh, get the uh, right wing Zephyr flying. So, and uh, this is my workshop. It's a it's a mess. You can see there's stuff all over the place in here. Uh, old motor with a pipe, radios, airplanes hanging from the ceiling. Oh, and I got my helis on the ground. Yeah, I've got two 600 electrics and some other stuff here and there. Piles of stuff all over. So, typical workshop. Hope you guys are doing well.